um, treatment. I'm going to be doing an eye treatment on my model and I want to show you how we can improve this eye area, how we can lighten up dark circles, puffiness. My model's eyes are actually really actually quite pretty today because she doesn't have the puffiness. Her, um, her skin is very, very healthy, but we are going to lighten up this eye area here today and I'm going to be doing this treatment. So hello, nice to see you all. Let's, uh, let's get going. So first I'm going to start here using the Rejuvi Eye Makeup Remover and I'm going to put a little bit of this on some cotton. And this is how we do this. Two pieces of cotton. I'm going to pour this liquid on here. And we're just going to take one piece and we're going to clean off around the eye area like this. It's so nice to see my model back. We, uh, we did a, a peel more recently, a little over a month ago, and it's so wonderful to see how beautiful her skin is now. Okay, we had a little bit of eye makeup on there, so we've just uh, cleaned off the eye area here. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to go over the eye area with some warm compresses. This is just water on some cotton. I'm just going to go around the eyes here with just warm cotton, just as an extra cleanse there. Okay, now we're going to start working in some of the flavonoid. This Q-flavonoid, the Rejuvi Q-flavonoid, has arnica, it's got vitamin K. It also has a little vitamin P in it. And what it does is it really helps support the little blood vessels. So anyone who has any darkening around the eyes, often when you stretch this eye area, you can see the bluey veins underneath. So what's nice is when you are working in something like this bioflavonoid, it really helps support the little blood vessel walls. And this is something that's a really nice treatment serum that you can use around the eyes. A lot of serums, you can't work with them around the eyes because uh, it's too much, too active. Um, the eye area itself is a thinner skin and therefore it is, uh, is more delicate. So it requires some different treatments to use around the eyes, different treatment products. And this is something that's really nice that you can use right up around the eye area. And again, this is all to help with discoloration around the eye. It also feeds the skin a lot of nutrients. So it really helps support those little blood vessels and that allows for strengthening blood vessels, allows for less darkness around the eyes. When you have leakage from blood vessel walls, you can have red, redness or you can have the, the bluey purple areas. But this area around the eye, the orbital eye area here is a thinner skin. So you wanna make sure that you're really supporting it and hydrating it the best way you can here. So we're just doing this, working in this Q-flavonoids, quite dark in color, as you can see. Now what we're doing is we're going to put on uh, some of the eye gel over that, and this is what we're gonna be massaging into the eyes. So again, this is the eye gel. This is all Rejuvi that I'm using. And the eye gel is another amazing product for dark circles and puffiness. So it's a product that I use all the time. It can be used morning and night. And it is actually my eye product that I use on myself morning and night. So we're putting this over top of the Q-flavonoid.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be massaging the eye area here. I'm just going to work this all into the eyes. Now you want to be mindful when you're massaging of where your fingers are. You do not want to be touching the eyelashes. You want to be sort of really careful and making sure that you're lifting your fingers up high enough so that you're not actually touching the eyelash itself. The eye area is very sensitive anyway. It carries a lot of bacteria around the, the follicles, around the lashes. So you want to make sure that you're sort of not adding to any discomfort for your client by having anything too creamy or too moist around that eye area because it can irritate the eye and pimple eye pimples today is so popular a lot of people are getting eye pimples and that is when the the lash follicle itself gets blocked and it's if you're using creams that are just too nourishing around the eyes putting too much on around your eyes it can cause an eye pimple and those eye pimples take months to go away so you have to be very 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 mindful so these are some massage moves I do around the eyes the eye area for a lot of people because uh, especially if they're working their job requires looking at a computer all day long their eyes get really tired and you can feel sometimes when you're massaging it around the eyes that it's just it's really tight especially up here so it's nice to kind of really do a lot of pressure point work around the eyes. If, um, if you're noticing someone's a little puffy, you wanna do your drainage away from the tear ducts. So you're gonna be massaging out this way here. But as you can see, my model has no puffiness. You just wanna pick up that uh, color around the eyes a little bit. Now my model is also celiac, which means that she is not able to have gluten. And very often because this is uh, in face mapping or in the stomach area around the eyes, it shows any irritation, inflammation, allergies, all of this comes up around the eye area and we see it up here. So for people that do experience a lot of darkness around the eyes, a lot of it is allergy based and uh, and food related so it's important to identify and be able to talk to your client about this if they get puffiness and bloated in the stomach then we know they have food allergies so outside a monthly cycle your period monthly cycle if you're getting bloating in the stomach then you know you've got some food irritations some allergens that are um, histamines flying around in the system there from foods that you could be allergic to and uh, and these types of things don't make you sick but you can get puffiness around the eyes you can get dark around the eyes and you will get bloating in the stomach so it's just always a good indication and if that be the case what I recommend is just journaling what it is that you're eating to try to figure out what it is that you're allergic to so um, it, uh, it can start it with bloating and then eventually it's gonna start showing up here under the eye area, which in face mapping, this whole area here is the stomach. And as we've talked about before, this is stomach, small intestine, large intestine down here. But this area here is stomach, so it shows food allergies, it shows food sensitivities, and, uh, and of course, it, uh, it also shows if you're tired, <clears throat> if you're not getting a lot of sleep, that also shows up and it's uh, an indication, you know, of um, poor digestion, all, all types of uh, stomach related issues. So just massaging this eye area here. some nice pressure point work. I say this often, but our body is made of about 70% water. As you get older, that does uh, become less, but, um, but generally we're around 70% water. While ever a stream, a river, a stream is moving, 
the water stays clean. But when you're looking at a dam where water is still and stagnant, then you're going to notice that things are going to get sluggish. And that's the same as your body. That's why massage is so important. Movement is very, very important. If you're somebody that's doing Botox around your eyes, and a lot of people are, including myself, I do a little Botox around my eyes three times a year, uh, then you really need to massage your eye area. It's so important. So these are some really nice moves. If you're stressed and you're looking at a screen, as I said, concentrating with your eyes, having to wear glasses, all of these things put a lot of stress on this eye area. So you wanna make sure that you're massaging it and taking care of it, sort of really working these pressure points just doing some drainage, some fluid, getting rid of that lymph. Movement is medicine, super, super important. Remember again, if someone has a little puffiness, you wanna be draining out. You don't wanna be pushing too hard on the skin here, but you definitely wanna do some drainage. And then towards the end, you can take that and work that down around the ears and then eventually take it down in your facial, down, down the sides of the neck, down the lymph nodes, and then out and under the armpits. But for now, we're doing eyes.
Okay, now we've worked, uh, we've worked in the Q flavonoid and the eye gel. And I'm going to add a little boost here. I'm going to add a little bit of my retinoid formula. And I'm going to do a little bit of my retinol. This is this one here. And I'm just going to do a little boost around the eyes. I don't like to use retinol around the eyes that often because it, it's already a thinner skin compared to other areas of the face. But as a boost on a client once a month when they come in, it's a nice little boost to do. So let's add a little bit of the retinal formula here. It's also really nice for these little 11 lines up here. Now, when you're working anything into wrinkles, and as is my model's um, skin is just looking really fabulous today, and she doesn't really have those 11s, but some really nice moves for the 11s, you wanna make sure that you're getting it into any wrinkles. So if someone has heavy wrinkles here, you wanna stretch the skin, make sure you're getting your retinal formula, all your serums, all your product, you wanna get it into the wrinkle. And so I always recommend just going backwards and forwards making sure you're getting it to the base of that wrinkle because you need your product to get down to the, the base, the bottom of that wrinkle to help lift it so that it's not so deep. So that's why when we do our eye massage, we're always doing different moves. We're going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And you're really sort of working it into those light little wrinkles around the eye area. worked that into the eye area and now what I'm going to do is going to put a little bit of the eye mask on and then we're going to put some warm cotton pads over top Now this product is the hydrating mask and I use it very often, uh, in fact just about 99% of the time as my massage cream when I'm doing full facials. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this just a small amount, we don't want to make it too, too much around the eye, she's already got quite a lot on, but I do want to put a little bit of this up here underneath the eye area. So we've got a little eye mask on. This again is an eye treatment we're doing here today. I'm going to take my cryo sticks. I'm going to just do a little bit of work with the cryo. So we're going to warn my client, these are cold. Warn her that they're going to be a little cold. And we're going to do a little work around here before we put the pads on. Now again, if someone has puffiness, you're gonna be taking your cryo out gently like this. And you're gonna be doing drainage away from the tear duct. But because she does not have puffiness, 
I'm able to go in all directions here. But again, just very lightly. Somebody has a headache. Cry is so wonderful. Turn your cryo sticks, they're made and designed to just hold over the eyes, but you don't want to hold it on for more than about 10 seconds. So now that we've done the cryo sticks, can put some nice warm cotton pads over the top of the eye area. I've got cotton pads here that's been soaking in warm water. Stretch them a little bit so that they fit the eye area really nice and then you can put that directly over the eye. leave that on the eyes and maybe do a foot massage uh, I like to leave that on for about five to eight minutes and that way just do uh, either a foot or a hand and arm massage which is really lovely for your client and then once you come back you can uh, remove them remove the pads she's what she has on her eye area is perfectly fine to stay on so now you're just going to be just working that in a little bit with your fingers and, uh, and your treatment's done. So all of that, including the eye mask, can all stay on the eye area. And that's a really nice treatment for her. And the only thing that you might want to add before she walks outside is a little bit of sunblock. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of sunblock up around that eye area, because we're going to put it up here underneath this eyebrow bone, right underneath the eyebrow and we're going to put a little bit down under here because this here area that's raised gets a lot of sun people get freckles here you want to make sure you're really taking care of this area from the sun so I'm getting a little bit of sunblock right now and you just need a small amount and the sunblock that I'm using, it's a little bit of the Rejuvi Tinted. There you go, Rejuvi Tinted Sunblock. It's an SPF 40. And anything under 40 is really not very much, so I wouldn't even use it. It's not really gonna do a lot, especially living here in California. So this is the area up here on the cheekbone. You wanna make sure you're putting it. This is another area that can get freckles. A lot of people forget about putting sunblock in these areas. Really important. You don't want to get it onto the eyeball area, but you do want to get it up here. And of course, everywhere where you've done your treatment. Okay. We're all done with our eye treatment. Thanks for joining everybody. See you all again really soon.